all right welcome back so in this video what i'm going to be doing is showing you how to project the geometry that we just created on two different places first it's going to be a quarter of an inch from the bottom basically the depth of those triangle pockets that we're going to be cutting and then the second one is going to be on the surface right here okay let's go back to my drawing real quick so if i look right here you're going to notice that this is a quarter of an inch from the bottom so that's an important uh, uh, geometry right here to remember quarter of an inch from the bottom and then there's also going to be a projection right onto the surface right here so that's very important to remember and let's go back to master cam and start doing that so you're going to notice that uh, the projection it's not here you can't see it but if you actually click on this x form the offset counter the little arrow on the right side you're going to see the x form project over here so you want to select that and it will ask you select entities to project now hold shift and select each of the eight entities. If you don't do that, it's gonna take you a long time to select all the geometry here uh, to uh, project, okay? Now, there's multiple ways you can do this. Now, I'm gonna actually select Escape over here to get out of that. One way to do this, if you go to Levels and you uncheck the uh, both the last two, uh, the first two uh, geometry or levels that we've created, you're gonna only get the triangles right here. Now, you can actually leave this one uh, if you want to just keep seeing this uh, there but make sure you unselect the geometry for the first level that we created and select OK and then you can come over here and you can actually quick mask the arcs and the lines so first you can do the lines and then you can do the arcs because the radius is over here are all the arcs so this is another way you can select all of them much faster than we've selected before as well now what you're done with that hit enter now, okay, we did not actually select the X form project. I'm going to keep this in this video so you can remember all that. So click on project. Now, it already detects so you've selected geometry and it goes straight to the project um, menu screen. Now, what you want to do for this one is you just want to copy it. We're not going to move it. The first one we're going to copy. The second one we're going to move. Now, we're going to do a distance. Now, this distance is actually from zero. Now, because we're on 1.5, if you actually select 1.5, it stays there. What you want to do is move that to 0.25 and hit enter. Now, if you won't see it, that's because it's actually inside of your part. Come over here and select the shading translucency toggle, and then you'll see it. Now, if I rotate it around, you'll see that this is where it projects onto. That's exactly what you want. This is a quarter of an inch from the bottom. So quarter over here, 0.25 means it's a quarter of an inch from zero. Remember, we moved our origin over here, the plane to 1.25. So quarter of an inch to zero. So if I actually take this and move it to 0.5, you'll notice how it moves up. We're going to put it back to 0.25. There you go. And hit OK to accept that. Make sure it's on copy. OK? And hit OK to accept that. Now, hitting OK will exit out of everything, but hitting Apply keeps you there. Now, it asks you again, select entities to project. You want to make sure to select all of them. Now, if you actually come over here and hit Quick Mask again, you notice that it selects both of those geometries. You don't want to do that. So select Escape. Make sure it's twisted in a way, rotated in a way where you can only select the top end. And come over here again and click on Next Form Project. Select Shift, Hold Shift, and select the geometries on top over here. There you go. Make sure only the top geometry is selected and hit Enter. Now what we're going to do is we're actually going to move it. And we're going to move it onto a surface. Now select this option right here, which it will project onto surfaces. And it will ask you, what surface do you want me to project on? Make sure you get out of the shading translucent and select this surface right here. You see it a little bit grayed out. And that's it. Hit enter. And there you go. It actually projects it onto that surface. You see how my geometry now is moved. I don't want to copy the second time. I want to move it so you don't have any more geometry on top. See how it is projected onto that surface just like I wanted? And then select OK to accept that. And then clear colors. And there you go. So we've learned how to project our part to a surface as well as to a certain height. Now if you don't see that second geometry, that's because you have to click on shading, translucency, toggle, and you'll see both of them. Now let's go ahead and keep it this way because in our next video, I'm gonna show you how to connect both of these and cut them out of your part. All right, and this concludes this session.